Welcome to Sandwich Sunday. I am your host, Chef Ryan Sal. This is the show where we make awesome sandwich combinations inspired by the most unlikely of people. Now, before I go on with today's episode, make sure to check out my brand spanking new Patreon link in the description below. If you've been enjoying what I've been doing on this show and want to show more support, definitely check it out. There are multiple tiers with all kinds of perks like discounts on my merch store, live Q and A's. Check it out. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys. Today's signature sandwich is for Trevor Sternad of the band Black Dahlia Murder, one of my favorite bands. I can't believe he's here. And let me bring him in, Trevor. Ah! What is going on? What is Thank up, you my so dude? What is going on? Thank you so much for making it over. Always, it's a pleasure to be here, man. I, I, uh, I hope you came hungry. Did. So I sent you a questionnaire, mm -hmm. nine questions, and based on those answers, we're gonna create a sandwich that is made just for you. And I am excited about this one. There's a lot of comforting dinner table vibes I get from this sandwich I've put together. You mentioned that you like green beans. You also mentioned one of your go-to sandwiches is an onion toasted bake with cream cheese and, and ham, yes. right? Yep. Which. I've never had a bagel with ham, so I'm definitely excited okay. to experiment with those flavors and vibes. Cool. First thing we're gonna do is go for the toasted onion vibe. Mm -hmm. Rather than onion, though, we're gonna make crispy shallots. What about uh, what about on the road? What's uh, what's food life like on the road? Because I know I know it could be a mixed bag, right? Um, I feel like it's vastly improved since um, Uber Eats has entered the picture. You know what I mean? You can um, get whatever you want brought to you, which has been fun. Really, the world of touring like opened me up to a lot of food where um, I was very like uh, American food mm -hmm. as a kid. Getting out on the road, smoking weed also helped <laughs> <laughs> lower my guard to trying some new things, you know? Yeah. And um, sometimes I'll just get on a tear while I eat the same thing for like a week on uh -huh. a tour. It'll be like French dips every day. So you're going from <laughs> town to town, just figuring out the where best the French, French dips, dips are. are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so first thing we need to do with shallots is shave them really thin. Mm -hmm. And we also want to shave them consistently because when they're consistently shaved, they're all going to cook at the same rate. Some are thicker and some thinner, but then the ones that are going to cook faster. These. So we have the shallots in uh, in a wok. It doesn't have to be a wok. A small sauce pot or mm -hmm. something. Preferably, actually not a small sauce pot, but preferably something with a wide open uh, mouth, so to speak, so the moisture can draw out more. And I'm gonna go minimal oil, just enough to coat it. I'm gonna get this on the stove and it has to cook low and slow. It's gonna take almost an hour, really slow. So we're gonna get this going and work on another element. Next, gotta get to the green beans, all right? So I got some green beans right here. And uh, can you give me a hand picking, of picking the uh, ends of them? Mm -hmm. All right, just gonna break off that end, throw it into the bowl. We don't want that fibrous. Ah. stem on top. So you mentioned a lot of sandwiches and you seem to be pretty much a sandwich guy. It's true. Um, so tell, tell us tell us about a few of your other favorite combinations. Um, I love a deli sandwich, of course. Half pastrami, half corned beef uh, with slaw instead of kraut. Extra Russian grilled killer sandwich. Oh my God, that yeah, it's a, a monster. Sandwich. Thanksgiving, which we've been kind of touching on here with the uh, green beans. Any kind of Thanksgiving sandwich, like even like the uh, one at Wawa. <laughs> it's good. I love Thanksgiving sandwiches so much. Dude, Thanksgiving anything, man. Yeah. I've, I've made Thanksgiving burritos the next day. <laughs> <laughs> you cram everything into a uh, tortilla and grill it shut. I've never had a Thanksgiving burrito. I think you're on to something. Yeah, man, I think so. Trevor, you mentioned earlier one of your ultimate sandwiches has coleslaw. Mm -hmm. You know what? We're gonna make some coleslaw. All right. All right. So I have some uh, shredded green cabbage here, but we want to jazz it up because you mm -hmm. eat with your eyes as much as you do with with uh, with the taste and smell, right? So if you can pass me over that uh, green, uh, that red cabbage right there, yeah, yeah well, sure. purple cabbage. I'm gonna shave some of this right into the bowl. Cut it, a thinly shave, red cabbage in here. Really important part of making so any type of slaw is you wanna try to get out the excess water. That's in the process. Nothing's more gross than super watery slaw. So we're gonna mix this up so the colors are a bit more evenly dispersed. I'm gonna throw in kosher salt and apple cider vinegar, All right? 
mix this up, wilt down, and we're gonna drain it off and use this to make the slaw after we've drained out all that excess water. So in some ways we're like pickling it first, right? You know, it whittles it down because you also don't want overly crunchy slaw, right? You want that sweet spot in the middle. Can't have slaw without a little carrot in there, right? Gotta have a gotta have giant some prehistoric carrot. <laughs> 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 Trevor, that carrot shredding, that aggressiveness, that was, that was actually really refreshing. I'm glad we got to share that moment. Let's make some sweet potato fries. We're gonna do two things. Number one, we're gonna have to eat frozen because I'm not gonna make that shit from scratch. Mm. But can you help me grab it from the freezer down below there? Absolutely. There's a bag. There we go, right there. There we go. Sweet potato, crinkle cut fries. This is not a sponsored video by McCain. But McCain, you know, Black Dahlia Murder could definitely use a French fry endorsement. You eat a lot of fries. But not only are we using pre-made fries, we're using my wife's air fryer. Yeah. All right, here we Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this air fryer time. Lock. 15 minutes. Loaded. 15 minutes. Are we doing this right? 15 Can minutes. Can you full grown men figure this thing out? So in your questionnaire, Trevor, you mentioned a very specific method of consuming cereal, and I found it quite fascinating. <laughs> Yeah. So you're gonna demonstrate to me. Okay. This you're is, gonna demonstrate how this is done. This is one of my faves too. Okay. I've got some, uh, you know, what's normally for alcoholic beverages. Mm -hmm. We're gonna load these cups up with some milk. So yeah, I love cereal so much that I can't really even purchase it. <laughs> I will demolish the whole box in a day in a sitting. It's a it's a vice. So definitely. Do we go in hand? Yeah. Go, go in, in hand, hand, or you can dump it into your mouth. Uh, I actually. Uh, one of our old drummers, Shannon, and I used to live with them. About 3 a.m. in the morning, I was pounding cereal like this in the kitchen, and I didn't see him coming, and he snuck up on me and like scared the crap out of me. <laughs> well, I won't do that to but you today, anyway, But anyway, this is sort of like recreating the first bite of cereal, which is like always the best one, you know, where it's still the most crunchy when it just hits the milk. We're cutting out the soggy cereal out of the equation. Yeah. This is just like winning every time. So it's important you know? to you to maintain the crunchy texture. Yes, Okay. absolutely. That's All what right. we're after. Here. I actually like that a lot. Let me get this milk. Let's milk it up. Okay, well, I think... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go in for there, it, man. All right. <laughs> yep, like a boss. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I've dined at the French Laundry, La Coco. Been to all these restaurants, and you know what? Fuck those places. <laughs> I found my new culinary sensation, and it's accessible right in my home. <laughs> You're a wise man, my friend. 40 years old, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> this... Oh, shit. <laughs> So if you notice all the noise, it's because the fan is now on. The fire alarm apparently doesn't want us to die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Freaking air fryers, damn those things. So here I got the green beans. I blanched them in some salted water, right? And we're just gonna lay it down on paper towel to dry off. Crispy shallots wow. are done. I mean, smell they that. Awesome. It smells so good. I love to use this oil on everything. Put it on noodles, you can put it on your sandwiches, whatever, it's just, the most amazing flavor and aroma. But for what, for this sandwich, we need these crispy shallots. And while it's hot, we want to salt it. Just a light sprinkle. We're just gonna take small handfuls and I'm just gonna squeeze it dry. Cause again, I don't want all that excess water mixing up into our mayo that we're gonna add in later. So now so. we have to season this, all right? Mm -hmm. And first, you can pass me the Dijon and that horseradish right there. Absolutely. Yep. And right behind you, if you can grab the mayonnaise in the fridge. Mm -hmm. There's also veganaise in there. Don't grab the veganaise. Here, I'm gonna let you add in the mayonnaise to your heart's content. Oh man, I don't know if this is good. 
You a fan of horseradish? Uh, yeah, we'll yeah? do okay. a little. We'll, uh, we'll do a little. We'll do a little attitude in there. Little attitude that. in there. All right. Well, seriously, how much mayo are we putting uh, in here? Let's do tri triple that, at least. Okay. Yeah. Do you like a heavier mayonnaise or a lighter mayonnaise? I go either way, honestly. For all kinds of sloth. You love them all. You don't love them all. Well, We're going to taste this together. A little firepower. Right. Is that it? Yes. Hmm. I'm good. I don't want more horseradish. I don't want more Dijon. Right? Yep. Okay. All right, Trevor. I also want to make sure we get some fresh herbs in there. Mm -hmm. So you mind, uh, I think half of this is about good. Help me uh, pick these leaves sure. off the stem. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while. It's, it's the off season. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> fresh parsley into the slaw. Fresh cracked black pepper. Nice. Very importantly, celery seed. I feel like this is the key to a really good coleslaw. Power slaw. Power slaw. <laughs> <laughs> I think our fries are finally done. We can turn that off. And uh, let's taste this. You look promising. Mm. Mm. Uh, a little char, yeah. nice and crispy. Perfect. Dutch crunch, baby! The only bread that we like to use on Sandwich Sunday. How big? How big? How big, Trevor? Don't even cut it. <laughs> <laughs> first things first, we have to put the ham down onto the bread and get that warming first. So if you can pass me that pack of ham in the fridge, then our shelf. Uh -huh. Ah, the ham. The ham, <laughs> oh, that's the cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, the ham. Awesome, Trev. I'm gonna have you help me break mm -hmm. the Black Forest ham. You bet. Did you specifically mention Black Forest ham in your questionnaire because it reminds you of black metal, or is it just because it's, of the deliciousness? It's ingrained in the Sternad bagel sandwich history, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, um, I don't know if you've ever had one of those like little ham rolls at people's houses, like a, for a party or whatever, where it's like cream cheese and a scallion up the middle. Yes. Kind of like the. The bagel sandwich, ah. so you have the onion, cream cheese, black forest. Gotcha. Yeah. I want to go more ham. Oh yeah, for sure. Right? What, how do you like your meat meat ratio in your sandwich? You like more meat or balanced meat? Or? Sometimes I'm double meat guy. Double meat, meat guy. <laughs> Woo. Bond meat with double meat, you know? Oh, hell yeah. So because we've stacked this with extra meat, we're going to get this warming up first and then put on our cheese. Essentially what we're making with this sandwich, it's inspired by green bean casserole, but you know, jazz it up. What I love about a green bean casserole is the creaminess of it. So I went with a creamy cheese, went with Munster cheese. Do you do double cheese as well? Oh yeah. Oh yes, I like this man's <laughs> style. How do you think I got this way? <laughs> Let's cheese it up, help me cheese it up. So yep. I did one layer. Let's go double cheese. Yep, that. Double cheesing. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Approved. This right here is one of my favorite things on earth. I almost burnt myself. Ooey gooey, melted cheese. What I like to do, scoop out the top slice of the bread. To, to fit more shit. shit. We're gonna first put our green beans. Okay. The Trevor Sternad coleslaw. That's right. It's going on top of the green beans. I'm gonna put a heaping mound in there. Next, I'm gonna have you help me salt bed the shit out of this mm -hmm, cheese mm -hmm. with some of this crispy shallot. Shall we? <laughs> and last but not least, Sweet potato fries. The fries. You want to help me out with this too? Mm -hmm. Just kind of cross them over like this. You're improvising, <laughs> just like you do on stage all the time, right? You got to figure it out on the spot. All right. Do the honors of cutting the sandwich in half, please. Ladies and gentlemen, not only do I have Trevor Sternad of the Black Dahlia Murder, but we now have. The Trevor Sternad, also of the Black Dahlia Murder. Honorary member? I think this might outlive me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you go. think, here? That, yeah, Let's just go it. for it. Yeah, use that knife, just saw at it slowly, let the knife do the work. All the way down to the bottom. Trevor, let's show everyone in the world 
the Trevor Sternad sandwich, Black Forest ham, Munster cheese. We got sweet potato fries, green beans, coleslaw. What else could you ask for, right? We got all the base to cover here. Let's take that first bite. The Trevor Sternad sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, it evolves. Mm -hmm. It changes on you. I get a hint of the sweet potato fries, right? Not overpowering, it's almost like sitting in the background. It's there in mm -hmm. the background. There's so much freshness mm -hmm. from the green beans and the coleslaw. That black horse, damn, mm -hmm. monster. Took me a couple seconds to taste everything. It is mm. as good as as people. Trev, thank you so much for being on Sandwich Sunday, taking part of this. Real quick, let everyone out there know what you got going on. Uh, I sing for Black Alley Murder, of course. Uh, we will be on tour all over the world as soon as possible. But you can also check me out on Mondays at the NotFest official Twitch. I'm joining Pulse of the Maggots, and I'm gonna keep you guys plugged into the sick new death metal that's coming out weekly. So check that out over there. Link will be in the description below. Trevor, thank you again so much. Thank you, sir. And you know what? Let's finish off the yes. rest of this sandwich, shall we? Let's do it. Later, everybody. Guys, also don't forget to check out the merch. Link in the description below.